What's up, everybody? I welcome you to my channel, Let's Get Graphics and Multimedia. My name is Rafi Yaku. I'm reaching you live from Lagos State, Nigeria. And in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how you can generate your username and password to log in on Tauba. Uh, a brief overview about Tauba is that Tauba is just like a a a a, 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 a part of uh, 1688. It simply means that. 1688 and Tauba, they share one thing in common, that is the username and the password you use on your 1688, you can as well use it on Tauba to log in, to have access to the website. So in this video, I will walk you through the step by step of how you can generate your username and password to log in on Tauba or to log in on 1688 using your Alipay app, okay? So let's get started about a practical class so the first thing you have to do is to go to your alipay so you can see on the screen right here i have my alipay i'm going to click on it now when you click on your alipay it's going to open up like this right so from bottom left right corner, you have to look for me icon where you see a man icon click on me so when you click on me it's going to open up like this right so when you get to this point the next step you have to take is to go to the top here you will see a setting icon click on the setting icon so when you click on the setting icon it's going to take you to this point here now when you get to this point click on account and security all right so when you get to account and security you can see where we have a mobile number that is my alipay mobile number then where you have Tauba member name, that is the name you are going to use for Tauba login. Then where you have uh, login password, if you have already set up your password, the password you set up where you have the login password is what you are going to use on your Tauba. But if you have not yet set up your password, all you have to do is to click on login password and set up your password. So the password is what you're going to use to log in on 1688 or on Tahoba, right? So let's go to Tahoba now and see how we can use our Tahoba member name and Tahoba password to log in on Tahoba. So let's go back to internet. So I'm going to assist from Alipay. Then I will access my Tahoba via Google Chrome. So I'm going to click on my Google Chrome now. All right, so, so I'm going to click on the top here. Then I will come here and click a, uh, create a new tab. Now having created a new tab, the next step to do is to take to make use of my search bar, my search bar. So I'm going to click on search. Then I will type in however. Dot com. I click and enter. All right, guys. So this is my Tauba. Uh, this is how Tauba is going to open up when you visit the website using google chrome so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to translate this into english language i have to come to the top here where you have three dots from the top right corner click on it then this is going to drop down from this drop down click on translate all right so it's going to convert it to uh english uh fashion right now for us to log in into this website tauba you have to come down below here where you see my tauba you will see a man icon so click on my icon that is my tauba 
So when you click on my icon taobar, it's going to take you to this point whereby you will need to log in to the set to the site. So when you log into the site, you have full features of the site. You will be able to do whatever you want to do, like you want to make a purchase, you want to pay to the supplier, you want to chat with the supplier on taobar. So now I'm going to log in. Uh, I'm going to then the first thing you have to do is to click on the first top here. Okay, let me see if we can translate this page. We go to the top, go to the top uh, right corner, click on the three dots, then choose translate. Okay, so you can see after we have translated, you can see that you need to log in to continue access, right? So here you click on here. This is where you enter your tower member name you can see my own has been set in the default but in some cases if your own taba username has not been set in the default all you have to do is to follow the step of going to alipay and copy your taba member name so i'm going to click on this to accept my taba member name right so followed by my taba password so i'm going to enter my password now So after I enter my password, I have to come here where you see this red, uh, big red orange, click on it. Wow. So you can see, I uh, have fully signed into my Tauba page. So you can see that this is my profile on Tauba. This is my Tauba uh, Tauba name, and uh, all information here. This uh, okay, sorry. So this is my bar name. This is my profile, and uh, this is the shipping uh, to be shipped. This is where you have your other message this is where you have your search history where you have 28 this simply means that i have browsed some of the high term in the past this is high, this icon here is for a refund and that, i'm sorry i have click on something so now this means with this now i can do whatsoever i want to do as far as this uh Taba is concerned. I am a full member. I can place order anytime I like. I can chat my supplier to make inquiry about a particular product. I can do whatsoever I want to do with this uh, website since I'm a fully login member. So this is how you can generate your Taba username and Taba password to log in into your Taba. And this is the same process whereby you can use to log in to have full access to your 1688 website so and i hope you guys learn one or two things in this video and if this is learn one or two things in this video please click like button and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more interesting video about importation from china i hope you to see you guys in my next video thanks for watching and I'll see you soon bye for now